It's Positively Muskegon, Andy O'Reilly over at the Mona Shores High School today. We are here with the, what, what do you guys call it again? What's the wavelength? wavelength. The yeah. Mona Shores wavelength. wavelength. Yeah, we're here talking about robotics today. You guys are back from a pretty big competition, and we're going to talk about you guys in the competition in a couple of minutes. But Andrew Bassey, is the you're the teacher advisor? I am. I'm the coach the, and coach coach. advisor. Yeah. Talk a little bit about robotics today. I mean, as 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 I look back when I was in school. You could go to model building, you could go to macrame, you could maybe take karate lessons, you know, there was, it was limited. This is serious stuff today. It is, it's gotten very big. Michigan's a huge uh, competitor for robotics, so we have over 400 teams in the state of Michigan. Really? Um, our program was started as part of a statewide grant. Okay. Um, basically, seven years ago, I had a teacher from Reese Puffer call me and offer up free money, so I said yes. Yeah, why not? Right? <laughs> Without even asking what it was first. Um, and uh, essentially, what it, we started off with uh, six kids and uh, just myself as a mentor. Uh, halfway through that year, we, we suckered in another mentor, and he's been with us ever since. Um, and now we're up to attracting anywhere from 30 to 35 kids at the beginning of the year, and we have uh, four to five full-time mentors. And by the end of the year, usually we dwindle down to about you know 12 to 15 real diehard students sure. to stick around throughout the whole thing. And this is one of these things where you will travel all over the state to compete against other schools that have, have clubs like this. Yeah, so like I said, there's, there's 400 plus teams in the state. Yeah. Um, and there's 23 competitions in Michigan to lead up to a state championship. So we've traveled to St. Joseph, Michigan this year. Um, in the past, we've gone to Kentwood. There's uh, all the hot spots. Yeah, I've <laughs> the, but uh, we've we've been to um, Ypsilanti for state championships in the past. Uh, this year, we'll be going to Saginaw Valley uh, for a competition there for the state championship. With the, with the students, uh, you know, this is this is an early education for them when it comes to real world activity, jobs, creation. You know, everything that they're going to have to face. Did. Does it take a certain student, or can any kid kind of... We've got a wide range. Yeah. So, I mean, we have kids that come in that don't, don't know anything about it at all, but the idea is, yeah, we're, we're training them to be ready for a job. So even if they don't realize it, some kids just come here just to have a good time after school, but the idea is they'll pick up at least something that will help them with that career. Don't so want. that's how we market it to our, our sponsors, is that we're, we're giving them kids that have some experience in you know automation or manufacturing. That, that was going to be my next question, sponsorship level of this thing. Because, you know, I, I, I got a wife that's a teacher. I know that money's tight in schools. There's got to be some pretty amazing companies that are in behind these things that, that help pull this thing off. Talk a little bit about what they do. We've got we've got a few companies that have been very, very kind to us. So um, the kids go out, and they're, this, their, their goal in the beginning of the school year is to go out and pull in money yeah. um, to be able to make this happen. Because our, our average budget is pretty small compared to a lot of other schools. Uh, there's a couple of schools in the Detroit area that will run, you know, eighty to hundred thousand dollars a year. No kidding. We we average twelve to fifteen thousand, which is a lot for this area. Yeah. Um, it's so tough. it's always tough to compete against Orchard Lake St. Mary, no matter what you're in. <laughs> so we we we're all money in Michigan, don't we? We've been very very fortunate through one of our sponsors to to pull down a, a pretty sizable grant. We've been sponsored by NASA in the past. As Have a you really? Um, so, you know, it, it makes for some, some good setups for, for t-shirt backs to have, have those big names on the back. What do these sponsors look, in, look for in turn? Are they, are they already shopping these kids? Um, a, a, few, a few of them are. Uh, we've got um, some kids that get placed through uh, our sponsorships. We have other kids that will go out and they'll just pick up an internship in college. And uh, having the first name behind that is, sure. is a big deal for that. Um, with the chairman's win this year, that's going to be a huge thing because kids can put that on their resume and colleges look at that as really? a tiebreaker between whether they're going to offer sponsorship or scholarship to, you know, student A or student B. Sam Blankman is next, right down the line. Sam, talk a little bit about this, this competition. What, what's it like from a student's perspective? Um, so I haven't really participated a lot with, like, the robot. I've done a lot with the, the awards aspect mm -hmm. but it can be kind of stressful especially with chairmans I know that only one team per competition will win this award so that can be a little discouraging to know that the chances aren't in your favor and it's really competitive but I guess is it competitive with the camaraderie sense or are you guys in there trying to you know find out what that team's doing and can you know can you 
yeah. do that. Is it is it that competitive? You, you always want to find a way to beat the other team. Yeah, but for at sure. the same time, you, you help everybody. Keep your exactly. Right, yeah. right, right, right. It's yeah. like, a big part. But there are scouting. Ways. There's yeah. Scout. You scout. Yeah. This is uh, Caleb. Suresco. Suresco. I, I write them down. I forget. <laughs> yeah. Caleb, talk about scouting. What do you do? Um, we mainly just look at other teams, see what they can and can't do, so that later on, depending on how well we do, when we're picking our teams or alliances that we'll work with, we'll know who to look for. So you'll partner up with other schools to, to kind of get some of this stuff done. Yes. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Logan, down on the end, say your last name too? Shaq Snyder. Shaq Snyder. Shaq Snyder. I wrote it down and I got it right, but I still can't remember all these things. Tell me you guys' role now with the robotics competition. What, what do you do day of the, the competition? In the day of the competition, well, there's a few things that go into it prior. Okay. Uh, the night before, we go in and we actually bring the robot and we have to unbag it because we bag it in order to keep the integrity of the game. Because sure. we're only about the six week build time and a few extra hours. Okay. But once we get there, uh, we're given a schedule of our matches and we have to make sure that our robot is maintained before, during, and after those matches. So once we play, if our robot gets damaged, we have to constantly be watching to make sure it's operationally software and mechanically wise. Like a NASCAR team. Yes, sir. You get a pit break and you gotta fix yes, it. Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. Competition. Yes. Tell me what, Caleb, what, what, what are these competitions with the robots entail? Um, all kinds of things. There are so much involved. Uh, our team kind of is broken up into teams for like, each aspect. We got safety awards that we need people to be ready for, so safety glasses and equipment needs to be checked. There are tons of safety inspectors also there that keep everything uh, regulated yep. for the rules, depending on the year. Um, we do a lot with like sharing parts too and assistance for the teams. The robots themselves, though, what do they do in the competition? Do they are, are, is it like battle bots? Do they go in there and try yeah. to rip each other up, or is uh -huh. it a task? Is it how does it work? Not usually. Usually. Um, it's something where you have one thing that needs to get to another place. So this year, robots pick up gears, place them on hooks, and pick up tons of small, they're almost like wiffle balls, yeah. and they shoot them at super rapid speed so that we can get lots of points. We only, we only get like a minute and a half to That's it. Um, for the match. Going into it, what do you, what do you, are you nervous when this thing starts? Are you excited? How does it, how does it feel when you're going to start? Kind of both. Yeah. Um, excited to see how it turns out. A little nervous on how you'll do. Yeah. Talk a little bit about this award now, this Chairman's Award. This is yeah. this is a big, big deal for the Motor yeah. Shorts team because it, it really kind of sets a precedent. Yeah. Talk about the Chairman's it Award. Definitely does. I'm. This is our first time winning. Yeah. This is the first time that we've won this Chairman's Award. <laughs> Put it back down. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's no rules here. We're just talking. <laughs> yeah. <about it>. yeah. <laughs> um, so a lot of work went into it. I started working on it about, I want to say, October, November. There were a lot of, um, there were little executive summaries that we had to write, and there were, there was I want to say like 20 of them. I don't know. There were a lot of executive summaries. And you see, because every job, there's the people that do things like you, yeah. and then there's some idiot above you that wants 20 <laughs> things. That's, yeah. that's, that's me. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not so much an idiot. But that, I mean, that's just the working world. There's yeah. procedure, there's all that stuff. So you, that yeah. all plays into this too. Yeah. So um, first we started by doing, like writing these executive summaries. And then we went through and we fixed them and tweaked them. And then we found out that they were actually way too long. So then we had to find the really important pieces and put that into the final product. So there was a lot of tweaking that went into it. And then on top of that, we had to write an essay, which wasn't very fun. But no, never is. <laughs> no, yeah, no, not really. So with the, with the Chairman's Award, what does that entitle your team to? What, where do you go next? Um, the whole, the whole, yeah, basically the chairmans, if you win that, you get an automatic bid to the state championship. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, chairmans is like the thing to, to win in this country. Okay. So it's a huge yeah. deal. Okay. Um, they're of the, like I said, there's 23 competitions in the state of Michigan. So there's only 23 chairmans award winners at the district level. 
And then those 23 get to go into the state championships to compete, and that gives you the possibility for a bid to the world championships, which, which would be is in, when, St. When? in St. Louis, and it's the last, I think it's the last weekend in April. Fun. Um, they, to kind of give you a comparison, I mean, we've never even looked at the dates for that because it's always been kind of that high, lofty goal that right, right. we're afraid to even think about. <laughs> um, so that's just one of those things. It's just if, if that happened, that would be just kind of like the you know end all be all thing to make. It, it, it's, it's the craziest thing too because you know my wife she teaches out of Fruitport and she does BPA with the, the kids out there and you know that's got me a trip or two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Want to chaperone a trip to New York? Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> so you guys could be on your way to St. Louis after after the next round. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. What are you gonna do as you uh, get older? What's what's your plan? Sam? Um. Well. I, right now, More I'm executive thinking, reports? Well, <laughs> probably. I'm planning on going to poli sci pre-law right now, but we'll see. Yeah? I don't know. I don't know what I mean. How about you, Caleb? Probably some form of engineering, like civil or mechanical. Nice. Always plenty of work in that thing. Down there on the M. Logan, how about you? Uh, I got accepted to Michigan Tech, so I'm planning on doing some form of engineering there. Very there cool. Right Michigan Tech? Yes, sir. Nice. Thank you. Heard it's a good time up there. Of course, you'll be studying. You won't be doing any of that. It's a little chill. <laughs> <laughs> Where can we learn more about this? Is it, is it on the Monitor's website? Uh, um, well, we do have a Facebook page that okay. is very sporadically updated. We have a Twitter, Twitter. That's, that's getting much more active. Um, <laughs> yeah. And those are all found through... Yeah, Facebook's for old people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Uh, <laughs> but you can search if there's Team 3572. That's our, our official team number. Okay. And then more information on the program can be found through firstinmichigan.com or firstinspires.org. Very cool. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me on today. I wish you the best on your way to the state thing. I mean, it's an exciting town. Where are we, where are we going again? Saginaw Valley. I'm well, always so good times over there. Yeah. In St. Louis, you put in the arch and everything. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Right. Yep. I wish you the best, yeah. right? Thank you. Yeah. What a great award. What a great thing to have Thank going you. on here Thank in Mona Shores. We've got the links right here on Positively Muskegon. Andrew, Sam, Caleb, Logan, give them a nice round of applause. Everybody in the audience back here. Thank you very much. All the links are here on Positively Muskegon.